Picture this, a nice cold glass of your favorite soda, a delicious hot skinny latte, an ice cold beer. What about some refreshing vitamin water? Anyone else thirsty? Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. Today, we're gonna talk about the top nine drinks you want to avoid to keep your skin looking younger and your body healthy. Of course, none of these are the fountain of youth. We all age, but there are some things we should avoid if we wanna keep our baby faces. So where do the drinks we mentioned at the beginning of the video fall on our list? Well, keep watching to find out. We'll also reveal Mountain Dew's dirty little secret, so stick around until the end. Drinks you should avoid. Number one, Coca-Cola. Okay, we're gonna start with the worst one, cola. Yes, it's true, soda of any kind is really bad for you. Why? Two words, added sugar. One of the worst things you can consume is a simple form of sugar called fructose. Your body doesn't really process this liquid sugar and so you don't feel full or satisfied when you drink it. That means that you're dumping a ton of empty calories into your body and upping your risk of gaining unwanted weight, insulin resistance, and type two diabetes. When it comes to your skin, sugar causes inflammation and can worsen already existing skin conditions like acne, eczema, rosacea, and psoriasis. What is your favorite thing to drink? Tell us quickly in the comment section below. Number two, cocktails. When the weekend hits, sometimes all you wanna do is let loose and have a fancy cocktail. But as we age, our bodies can't deal with booze as easily as when we were younger. Liquor has some pretty bad side effects if you're a heavy drinker. But even if you're just partaking occasionally, the junk food cravings and terrible sleeping patterns will catch up with you, not to mention what it does to your skin. Alcohol is a diuretic, which means it dehydrates you. More importantly, it sucks the moisture out of your skin and makes fine lines and wrinkles stand out. The more you keep drinking, the faster your skin will look older and wrinkled. Next time, skip the cocktail hour and have a small glass of red wine instead. In moderation, red wine is a better choice as it contains reversitrol, an antioxidant that has been shown to be extremely beneficial when fighting the aging process. Number three, sports drinks. You'd think that a drink that has the word sport in it should be healthy, but that's not exactly the case. Sport drinks do contain electrolytes, sodium, and potassium. Sure, they've got that going for them, but they also contain a lot of sugar and calories. Drinking sports drinks will not give you that six pack you've been longing for. As we get older, the metabolism slows down, and that means we can't process the sugar as easily. Cutting down on sugar in general is way better for your health. So the next time you're headed to the gym, just pack some regular water. Your body and skin will be much healthier for it. Number four, iced coffee. This is one of the more difficult things to cut out because, well, coffee is delicious and iced coffee is even more tasty, especially in the summertime. But alas, this one is really bad for aging your skin. The problem with this drink is all the caffeine in it. A bit of caffeine can help you be more alert and actually help kickstart your metabolism, but too much caffeine can mess with your sleep. If you're not getting proper sleep at night, your skin cells don't have time to repair themselves, which will eventually lead to your skin looking older than it should. Not to mention, if you start adding cream and sugar to that iced coffee, then you have a recipe for accelerated aging. Number five, skinny coffee drinks. Just because things have green or skinny or low fat doesn't mean it's always good news. And skinny coffee drinks are just another example. We don't wanna take all the good stuff away, but drinks loaded with a bunch of artificial sweeteners tend to confuse the body. Yes, it's a good thing to cut down on sugar, but not if you're just replacing it with something else that's sweet. The goal should be to lessen the sweet stuff altogether. If you're relying on diet soda or skinny coffees, it might be time to switch it up. If not, your body could experience what's called metabolic derangements, which are things like insulin resistance and spiked glucose levels. These can lead to more serious diseases like type two diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Any type of disease will eventually affect the skin, so if you wanna keep it hydrated and youthful, ease up on the sweet stuff. If you're really gonna miss this beverage, then we recommend replacing this one with a coffee-flavored smoothie or a yummy tea like matcha or green tea. Way healthier and just as fun and yummy. Number six, coffee creamer. You might wanna start taking your coffee black. Coffee creamer has a notorious ingredient that might make you uneasy. Titanium dioxide is a chemical whitener that's in stuff like salad dressings, chocolate, and your beloved coffee creamer. It's also used in sunscreen, plastics, and paint. Feeling uncomfortable yet? Well, hang on, because it gets even more confusing. 
Titanium dioxide has been deemed as a carcinogen for humans by the CDC, but that's only when you breathe it in, as opposed to eating it, which is much less of a concern to experts. So you can eat it, but not breathe it in. Sounds totally safe, right? Well, the FDA says it's safe to consume as long as it's less than 1% of the product's weight. Okay, so it is safe, but then again, who said that in 2010 it's a possible carcinogen for humans? Confused yet? So are we. At the end of the day, doctors agree that if you're eating too many foods that contain titanium dioxide, it's unhealthy, not just because of that particular chemical, but because of all the other additives you'll be ingesting along with major amounts of titanium dioxide. These types of additives can cause inflammation, which as we know, can aggravate skin and make it look much older, but it isn't good for us on the inside either. Number seven, beer. Say it ain't so, not beer too. Yes, beer is something that you should be skipping out on if you want glowing, youthful skin. As we mentioned all the way back in cocktails, alcohol is a diuretic, so it'll dehydrate you. If you didn't know already, hydration is one of the best ways to keep your skin looking young and healthy. So aside from dehydration, beer can cause inflammation in the body, which is something you want to stay away from. But when it comes to the skin, inflammation can come in many forms like papules, pustules, nodules, and cysts, which are all forms of inflammatory acne. Need more information on inflammation? Check out this video called 11 Surprising Foods That Cause Inflammation to learn more. Number eight, vitamin water. Talk about a wolf in sheep's clothing. Vitamin water is something you should avoid if you want to have a healthy drink. Vitamin water is seen as a fortified and tastier way to stay hydrated and get some extra vitamins, but that's not always the case. Some vitamin water has just as much added sugar as a can of Coke. We talked about fructose earlier in the soda section, but it's something that confuses your body and can up your risk of disease, can increase weight gain, and can cause some major skin issues. Instead, try some water that has a few lemon wedges in it. Not only will you get an added boost of vitamin C, it can improve insulin resistance and all that extra hydration with vitamin C might help reduce wrinkles and overall aging of the skin. That's like a triple whammy of health. Number nine, Mountain Dew and citrus flavored sodas. Hey, didn't we already cover cola? Aren't they the same? Apparently not. Turns out that wild greenish color of Mountain Dew should be a warning sign. Citrus flavored sodas often contain brominated vegetable oil or BVO as an emulsifier. The problem is that BVO is a flame retardant for plastics and who wants to ingest that? Eventually what goes into your body is gonna affect your skin. So this one is just bad overall. A spokesperson for the FDA has stated that BVO was removed from the FDA's list of safe substances back in 1970, but was put back on the list under limited use six months later, following a petition submitted by the Flavor Extract Manufacturers Association. Now, BVO cannot exceed 15 parts per million in certain fruit-flavored beverages. PepsiCo, the company that makes Mountain Dew, has since pulled BVO from its ingredients list, but that doesn't mean that the odd can might not still contain it. Our advice when you want something citrusy? Go for the lemonade. Are any of these drinks your favorite? What is your go-to drink? Let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.